All right, in this lesson, we're gonna show you how we take journal entries and we post them to the T account, or we post them to the ledger accounts for each one of the accounts that we have. So let's give you a reminder of how we do accounting, generally speaking. Remember that the journal itself, so when we talk about journals and journal entries, is the original entry for financial transaction. Now, after we've journalized them in either the general journal or the subsidiary journal, we post them or enter them into the ledger. Now, the ledger, that is different from the journal in that the journal is just all the entries. So we just book all the entries. We don't care what accounts, you just book everything, everything there. The ledger on the other hand is organized by accounts. So if we book a debit to cash, credit to accounts receivable, the question is, is how do we know how much cash is in our cash account? Well, we have to post that. We have to take that entry, break it apart, and post them to their separate account. So we have to debit the cash. We have to post that debit to cash to the actual cash ledger or the cash T account. Same thing for the accounts receivable. We gotta do the same thing there. So that's what we're trying to do here. So journals, this is where the transactions entered in the company's books. Ledger is a summary of each account's ins and outs and we're going to show you them using the t account okay so we kind of talked about how the t accounts are not necessarily the best way uh, to explore things and the reason why that the t accounts are not the best way to explore things is they're just bulky and you need a t for every single one so we have these ledger accounts but we want to show you the t accounts because it makes it a little bit easier especially when we're talking about debits and credits now here is the t account remember that each account would have its own T. The left side would be the debit side, and then the right side would be the credit side. Each account would have its own T account. When, you, when we post, all we're doing is transferring each debit and credit to its proper T account. So let me give you an example of an entry that we actually did in two lessons ago in that video. So we have this transaction here where we debited cash for $40,000 and credited common stock of $40,000. Now, to help you understand what we're doing here, notice that this journal entry has two lines. Two lines, which means we're gonna take each line and we're gonna post it to their actual accounts. Now, if this was a compound entry where we had three entry lines, then we would have to post it to three different accounts. So notice every single line gets posted to a T account. So the first line that we have here is we have a debit to cash in the amount of $40,000. Now below, um, we see the two T accounts. So I gave you cash T accounts and common stock. They both have beginning balances of zero because the company just started, so they wouldn't have any accounts. Now notice here cash. What did we do with cash? Well, we debited cash for $40,000. What does debit mean? Debit means left. So we're gonna transfer that information from the, uh, the journal account, the journalization to the T account via the same way that we posted them to the general journal. So in this case, we debited cash, so it's on the left side. So we're gonna put on the left side of the cash T. Notice that I've put the left side uh, on the cash T, put it on the left side, 40,000, and I put TRX1, so that's transaction one. And the reason why is we're gonna have a T account with a whole bunch of transactions, but we don't really know what they mean, so we need to have a reference. And this, in this case, the reference is TRX1, so transaction one is the reference. If we wanna know where that transaction came from, we would go to transaction one, and we can see the detail of what we actually did. So now that we have cash done, we can go to the next line. The next available line is the co uh, common stock. Now the common stock we credited, credit means right side. So we're gonna go to the T account of the common stock. And on the right side, we are going to credit $40,000 and then we're gonna reference that to transaction one. So it's really easy. When we post, it's super easy. All we're doing is we're taking each transaction and taking it from the journal entry to the individual account uh, account ledger or T account, depending on which one you're using. So that's it when we're talking about posting. That's how we post, just a copy and paste kind of a thing. So the ending balance of cash right now is 40,000. 
the ending balance of the common stock is 40,000. Now you might say, how do we get the total? The way that we get the total is we add up the left column, add up the right column, and then we subtract the bigger number from the smaller number to get the bigger number. So the way that I like to teach this is that we can add up these two numbers here on the left side of cash, that's 40,000. On the right side, notice we have zero. So the bigger number is 40, the smaller number is zero. So 40 minus zero is $40,000, and the answer goes on the bigger side. So the answer goes on the bigger side. We can use that same logic when we talk about the other common stock account. We take the left side and we add that up, zero. We take the right side and add it up, $40,000. And so once we have that, we take the bigger minus the smaller, and it goes on the bigger side. So the bigger is the 40,000. The smaller is a zero. So 40 minus zero is 40,000. That 40,000 becomes a total on the right side, the same side as the bigger total number. So that's how we do the math there, just in case you're wondering how we do it. All right, moving on to example two, we've got logo and we've got cash. Let's start with the first one. So first one is a logo, it's debited, which means we're gonna take it to the logo T account and we're gonna debit it, making sure that we're put on the left side because debit means left, transaction two for $650. All right, what about cash? Well, cash is a credit. That cash or crediting goes on the right side of the cash T account or the ledger. In this case, it's gonna go right here for $650, okay? So, and it doesn't matter if that $650 is there or it could be here or it could be here. I just try to separate it out so you can kind of see the distinction, but it almost doesn't matter where you put it. All right, so then we have to do the math. So bigger minus smaller. So on the cash one here, we've got 40,000 on the left and 650 on the right. So $40,000 minus 650 is going to give us $39,350. That's gonna go on the bigger side. The bigger side was the 40,000, the debit side. All right, moving on to our logo. So debit minus our credits in this case is going to give us $650 on the left-hand side. So 650 minus zero is $650. Now. Hopefully you got those first two examples. It's really easy. All we're doing is copying and pasting them into different areas of the accounting cycle. Now, instead of doing transactions three through eight with you, I'm gonna give you the answers. This is what the T accounts are gonna look like overall. I've got the transaction number in parentheses. Uh, so transaction one here, transaction three here, two, five, seven, and then I have the ending balance or the total. If you want to, you can screenshot this, keep this off to the side, and then try to do the T accounts for all those other transactions that we did a couple videos ago, and then match yours to this to see if your ending balances match. If they do match, then you're um, a pro at trying to post journal entries into the gen uh, general entries into the ledger of each account. So I hope you understand how we post from journal entries to the T accounts or journal entries to the ledger. Um, it should be pretty easy. All you're doing is you're just copying and pasting. The key uh, where you can get mixed up is copying and pasting to the wrong T account or the wrong ledger account. Uh, but other than that, all you're doing is you're copying and you're pasting, just making sure you're on the left or right side and then totaling up at the very end. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, it is Patrick. Don't forget to press the like button and share this video with someone who could get a lot of use from watching this lesson, like maybe a classmate or maybe a friend or maybe just a parent just because you wanted to share this video because you're very excited about what you saw. Share it with someone. And if you want to help us grow and help us make sure that we put the very best in accounting topics out on YouTube, make sure you press the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time we post videos to this channel. Now, I do this with every one of my classes at the end of class. What did you learn from this lesson? Put that in the comment section below and I'll respond to you on what you got out of this video. So hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next lesson.